Hi, friends. You think you are ready for a DevOps job? Right, let us do a quick reality check. In interviews, I ask one real-world question, and 90% of candidates fail. You push code to Git, tests run, the image builds, and it gets deployed to Kubernetes with zero downtime. Sounds easy, right? Until I ask how you handle rollbacks, secrets, multiple environments, health checks, and a node failure at midnight while customers are online. Most candidates freeze because they memorize tools, not the flow, the risks, or the recovery strategies. Today, I am going to share that exact interview scenario that filters out the majority of applicants. Before I reveal the full answer, I want you to think about how you would solve it. Welcome back to DevOps Genius Zone. Let us dive in. Imagine you are interviewing for a DevOps engineer role. The interviewer says, design a CI CD pipeline where, as soon as a developer pushes code, it automatically goes through testing, builds a Docker image, and deploys it to a Kubernetes cluster, all with zero downtime. Sounds simple, right? But this is where most people get stuck. Here is what the interviewer is actually testing. Not just whether you know Jenkins or GitHub Actions, but whether you understand automation, orchestration, reliability, and safe deployments. Let us break it down. Step one is code push. The developer pushes code to GitHub or GitLab. This triggers a webhook that starts the CI pipeline. Step two is continuous integration. Tools like Jenkins, GitHub Actions, or GitLab CI run unit tests, linting, and security checks. If everything passes, the system builds a Docker image. Next, the image is pushed to a registry like Docker Hub, Amazon ECR, or Harbor. Now comes continuous deployment, and this is the tricky part. To ensure zero downtime, you need strategies like Kubernetes rolling updates or blue-green deployments. You must define readiness and liveness probes, so the application only routes traffic to healthy pods. And that is not all. You need to manage secrets securely using tools like HashiCorp Vault, AWS Secrets Manager, or Kubernetes Secrets. Add image scanning for vulnerabilities and enable detailed logging. Finally, configure automated rollback in case something fails in production. This answer does not just show tools. It shows thought process, system design, and real-world problem solving. So how close was your answer to this? Would you have passed the interview or joined the 90%? Tell me in the comments, and if you found this valuable, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to DevOps Genius Zone. See you in the next video.